Nice house. Wow. Billionaire Stafford wanted to help his one and only son, Bill. Wow. Party dude. So he made a will. Epic eyebrows alert. Bill's gonna get all his money. Uh, if he marries within a year. Eyebrows of the century. All right, guys, let's do it. Bill went to a friend's party. Then he met two girls there. They were so nice. Both of them were, like, really, really rich. And look at all my luxury stuff. Bill checked their instas. Time to solve the mystery. Hmm. Who's a better choice? The chick with the poker. Or the lady to visit in Italy. Uh, hello, that's a badge. She works there. Casino girl? No way. That's a poster. What? Oh, <laughs> Neither of them's that rich. Not interested. Wait, but, like, who cares? Bill's loaded, man. Hmm, but they both lied. Yeah. All right, time to find a down-home girl at the supermarket. He met a couple of ladies there. <gasps> Bill had crushes on both of them from high school. Oh, my gosh, it's there. He knew that one was a widow and one was single, but which one was which? Awkward! Still, he figured it out, like, without asking. Who's the widow? Claire or Simone? Oh, Claire's the widow. Because Simone bought two razors, one for a lady, one for a dude. All right. Bill asked Claire, I, I think she's pretty cute. Anyway, he fell in love after just a few dates. Love, love, hearts everywhere. Small hearts, big hearts, airplane. Claire had to go out of town. A last minute business trip, you know. Hmm. Man, that guy has a great life. Then Bill got a message. Oh no. Hi, I'm at the office, it's Dawn. I wrote to briefly remind you of myself. Oh no! Slam up and run! No time to put on a t-shirt! He ran to his private helicopter and it left right away. He rushed over to Claire. Whoa, he's going very high up. So, like, why? Is she terrible at spelling? No! They're the typing error she wrote in a secret code. S-A-V-E. Save! He's gotta save his beloved car and get all the money from his rich grandma or grandpa. I already forgot. Anyway, he landed and rushed. Man, that looks like the moon. He ran to Claire's room and she was in there. Oh, honey, that was fast. I was just checking how much you love me. Oh, wait. <gasps> a finger. A pizza. Bill walked out and look at his head. Boy, yo, 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 yo. He called the cops right away. So why did he call the cops? Check it out, Claire was alone. Or was she? She pointed at two bitten slices of pizza. Someone else was in the room. She couldn't speak freely. Wow! All right, the cops showed up. And they found the kidnapper. You have to be careful with her. You don't know who she really is. Oh my gosh, I love you so much, Bill. After that, Bill didn't waste any time. Get down on one knee and propose. It's going to be super romantic, guys. Let's check it out. And wow, wow, someone stole the ring. But where did it happen? Think, Bill, come on. Was it on that boat trip at sunset? Or huh, was that on his helicopter? Was it at that fancy restaurant? That guy has sunglasses at night. I bet it was him. It's that girl. Look at that naughty hand. Wow, she's a pro. Bill never stood a chance. All right, back at the big house. Bill introduced Claire to Captain Eyebrows. Oh, hello, my darling. Oh, ha, ha, everybody's so funny because we're rich. Bill went to his father's room. And you guessed it, guys. Do, do. He was unconscious on the floor. Oh, what's he holding? Some Kleenex. Maybe he had a stuffy nose. Bill called for help. Help! 
Yes, that's how you call for help, because you say, help! And the amp, man, that guy is ripped, dude. Look at those forearms. Wow. All right, here we go. Butler. Mr. Stafford left a note with a hint. I know who attacked him. Queen, tree, the Statue of Liberty. All right, guys, who did the butler suspect? Claire. She's wearing a t-shirt with a crown. Queen, tree, and the Statue of Liberty all have crowns. Oh my gosh, it was her! I'll tell you more later, Bill. When it's safe, oh, my mustache is amazing. Oh, grrr, eyebrows. Yo, when girls do eyebrows thing, that's crazy. The next morning, the butler was gone. Mary saw him walking in the forest. Yo, British people love to walk in the forest. Am I right? Hmm. Bill and Claire ran to look for him. Uh, more like walk. They found the butler under a fallen tree, and they called the cops. Hello, cops? There's a dude under a tree. Bill told the police how they found the butler. Just then, a man came out of the forest, and he told the cop, It's awful! There was a crazy strong wind this morning and knocked down this tree right here. Freeze! Get down on the- Oh my goodness! The cop arrested him right away! Huh. Why? Is it illegal to have a fake mustache in a forest? Yeah, the break on the tree is way too straight. That definitely wasn't wind. Oh my goodness. Wait, isn't that the same guy from the hotel? Oh, the pain and the betrayal. Evil eyes. It's always the girl. Next thing, Bill knew. Oh, oh my gosh, my head hurts so. He had woken up in a basement. He found three doors, and luckily, a hint on the wall. I like you so I'll give you a chance. Freedom is behind door number five. What? Which door should Bill choose? Uh, door five is a door with a Libra sign. Oh, the word Libra has five letters. Bill got out of the basement. Run, Bill, run! He was somewhere in that crazy forest. He saw two dudes. Man, they're ripped again. One of them gave him a note. You're deep in the forest. You need to run away. One of us will guide you out. The other one will force you to stay. Good luck. Who did Bill choose? They both look like bad idea. He chose the second man. Why? Because the... The first man's reading a maniac guide. He's the dangerous man. He looks like Che Guevara. Bill reached the city. Whoa, epic bike, no? And reported everything to the police. But now Claire had disappeared. Oh, man, that sucks. Bill was depressed. Oh, I'm never going to get my father's money. No news from Claire. The police had nothing. Oh, but in the end, Bill was okay. Why? Because he's rich, that's why. When you're rich, everything's fine. He even started partying again. He liked three girls at this party. Oh, the dance moves. Who's he gonna ask out? Brushing my hair. Rubbing my thighs. Drinking a thing. I'm looking good. Try the first girl. The other two are already married. Which is bad. So, would you marry someone for money? You know, no love? Or would you act like Claire? What do you think? Tell us in the comments. Julie is a superhero sidekick of Squad A. Wow, that sounds awesome. Probably her life is amazing. She's like a superhero. What? Everyone ignores her. Ah, oh, man. <gasps> What's up in the sky? Is it Julie? No, it's Wonder Woman and... Ay, 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 ay. Quick, get a ridiculously sized mattress to catch all. What about now? 
Oh, for sure. That what? That guy's just ruining the street. That's not cool, man. The taxpayers gotta pay for it. Oh, Julie, you're a lifesaver. One day, villains use the new weapon. Boo, boo, boo. All superheroes temporarily lost their memory. Ah, oh, that's gonna be awesome. Will Julie save the world from chaos? Let's find out. First run. Like a crazy person, Julie had to find and catch the helpless superheroes. Where were they? Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. They're just riding around in the bus on the street. They didn't know who they were. Julie had to catch them before the villains did. Also, glasses love it. And before the superheroes made a super mess. Hey, where are the superheroes? Oh, that guy's whacking his thumb, man. Oh, he doesn't even have a thumb. This guy's flying. What about now? Where are the superheroes? Why are they in a cave? That make no sense. Oh, this girl's frying using her finger. Finger fry -o! Where are the superheroes now? Love that dude running, man. He's like a skating on the street! Aha! It, it's Iceman! And in the giant, where are the superheroes? Eyebrows of the century! He's Eyebrows Man! Whoa, 35? Working out? Really? At a moment like this? Are you crazy? Julie Co <laughs> That speedy woman's so funny. Alright, guys. She had to save the rest of Squat. Man, she's gotta do everything. The villains had them in an underground base. Ooh, exciting. It was up north. In a mountain. Excellent. The base was well guarded. Ooh, that light. Julie started searching for ways in. Hmm, how's she gonna get in? Aha! She found a hidden... There's a hidden door! Who built that? But the door slammed shut just as Julie got inside. Uh-oh! A light came on and Julie heard a voice. Ah, ah, welcome! You're in my private passage! And now you're going to pay! Julie saw three pots in front of her. There was fire in the first one. And in the second one, oh, somebody farted. It was on me. There was an electric saw in the third pot. So random. It was on. It was on. Oh, I see the saw was on. There's a key in each pot. Get the key and you can enter the base. Ding. But you haven't got long. Man, this is getting complicated. Poisonous gas will fill the passage in two minutes. But wait, there's more. You can kiss your mission goodbye. Mwah. If you move the pots, the gas will be released. <laughs> you will die. Good luck. Man, that's overly complicated, Riddle. Would you cope in this situation? Because Julie did. It wasn't a problem. How did she do it? She used her super glasses. Yo, I'm loving those glasses. All right. Boom. She pulled off icicles from the ceiling and threw them into the first pot. The icicles melted and put out the fire. Julie entered the base, which of course was all red. Wow, that girl can run. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, it's the mad geneticist and his neck is crazy. Look like Einstein. There were three paths in front of her. Let's check out what's inside. The first one had mad poisonous bats, yo. The second one had a pack of mad wolves. Man, where'd you get those things? What about the third one? The third one had a poisonous snake. At least it's not mad. Yo, look on the positive side. She found a bill on a table. And of course, because it's a riddle, it had a note. What? How did Julie escape the lab? That bad is freaking me out. That that bad is freaking me out. She took the pill and chose the third path. Why? Because snakes have infrared vision. Boy, boy, boy. They can only see things that are hot. Oh, you know they're gonna see me because I'm like a smoking hot mama. Bats. 
can't see, but they can hear their victims. Ooh, and wolves can hear and smell and eat. Julie got out of the lab. Oh, it's all red. Sh what? Who runs like that? Where are the superheroes? Boom, found them in the deepest, darkest cave. She released Magnet Woman. Oh, the hair. Wow, Waterman. Look at them abs and steel man. Just then, evil Electro Man appeared. Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> the superheroes were so scared because, like, they didn't remember how to fight. I am so scared. Nice try, girl. <laughs> You're good. I'll give you that. But they're powerless and can't help! Ha 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 ha! My hair is amazing! You can't beat me by yourself! <laughs> Julie knew these superheroes! Come on, Julie! She knew their strengths and weaknesses! She chose who'd fight and told them how to win! The music's getting epic! Come on, Julie! You can do it! Alright, guys, who did she choose? How would you beat Electro Man? The music, I can't take it! She chose Magnet Woman! Cause her hair is so- oh no no. She told her to wrap Electro Man with wires. Boom, she could use the wires as lightning conductors! Yes! All of Electro Man's electricity would go right into the ground! <sighs> He's powerless! Easy win for Team A! All right, now everybody run like crazy. Yes, elbows in, elbows in. Julie found two identical men. Were they twins? No. They both looked like Mr. Jackson. He was the CEO of the world's biggest IT company. Ooh, he's kind of hip, no tie. She instantly figured out the villain's plan. Aha! They wanted to replace the real Jackson with a cyborg puppet. Cool. Steel Man, scan them with your X-ray vision. Uh, like, I have X-ray vision? That's awesome, bro, yeah. But, like, how do I use it? Oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. Julie looked at the prisoners. She figured out who the real CEO was, even without X-ray. So who's the real CEO? Man, those guys are messy. Yo, that steel man is useless, right? Humans can't cut and break things with such smooth edges. Exactly, that's gotta be a robot. So the real CEO is in cage B. Yeah, more those scratches. Julie, Squad A, and the CEO escaped. Woo, woo, they used the same secret passage to get out. Sweet! Julie just stole Steel Man to smash all the doors. Boom! He remembered how to do that, all right! <laughs> Julie and Squad A finally returned to their awesome base. But the superhero still couldn't remember anything. <laughs> Yo, that guy's awesome. Julie had a plan, though. She made them play a quiz game. Uh-huh. Whoa, her finger! Ah, what happened to her finger? She hid famous superhero names in an emoji quiz. Squad A had to figure out the names. It's gonna jog their memory. Sweet. Who are the superheroes? What's this guy? Super Chef. No, Wolverine, number one. All right, next one. Are you guys getting these? Flash. Nice. All right, this one's easy, right? Some nuclear thing. Hulk. What about this one? A Black Panther! Alright, my favorite one! Best superhero ever, guys! He's so funny! Deadpool! My man! And what about this one? Flaming Head! Human Torch! Alright, guys, what about this one? Is it Gandalf? Whoops! Totally wrong! Alright, last one, guys! You gotta get this one! Yeah, Wonder Woman! 
How long would the superhero amnesia last? Ugh, I don't know. The villains didn't know. But they were still afraid of them. Of course. They're dangerous. So they sent their cyborgs on a recon mission. We are ready to do the thing. Julie got a tip off about it. It was a hilarious selfie. Best selfie ever. Hmm, where are all the cyborgs at? Oh, the villains would be able to attack the city. That's pretty bad. All right, here we go. Find the cyborg in the office. Hey, can I charge my head somewhere, please? Thank you. Friday. All right, what about here? Mmm, delicious meal. I would like an extra side of batteries, please. Mmm, tomatoes. Love it. All right, guys, here we go. Find the cyborg in the park. Oh, man, those guys' packs. Look at his packs. Pump and pump. Ooh, convenient, but not really that human. What about in the gym? Where's the cyborg? Yeah, you got it exactly, man. Where's my screwdriver? I can never find it in my purse. Julie returned to the base. Ooh, that girl can walk. Ow. Squad A had their memory back. Boom! Awesome! They remembered! They threw Julie an A-class party. Ooh, disco theme. Nice. Magnet Woman and Steel Man were arguing. <laughs> Who helped Julie more? What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments.
Yippee!